Hello guys, Vizer here bringing you another Total War Warhammer replay with commentary for today's battle. We have the forces of Nurgle, who are being led by the exalted great unclean one with his little buddy in the belt. And we're going against forces of Slanesh, who are being led by Nikari himself or herself uh, and getting to the middle of the map here. So. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, talk about the armies a bit. Uh, first of all, I wanted to show you guys something. Did you guys know that uh, beasts uh, beasts of Nurgle have these different hair colors? This one is purple and had uh, three eyes. This one is red with uh, one eye, which was pretty interesting to me. And yeah, that's that's what I wanted to talk about. So. For my army, a pretty simple two exalted plague bearers of Nurgle and two beasts of Nurgle. We already saw the caster and the general of the army with blight swarm, a stream of corruption, fleshy abundance, and cloud of flies. The rest are the passive stuff. We have arcing conduit and pestilent decay as well. For my opponent, let's see what Nekari decided to bring. For this battle, he has his willing prey, understandable with Sealer, great. Uh, Lash of Slanesh, again, acquiescence, both of them really great with its uh, blissful rapture. Slicing Shards is also a really great spell for clearing out the uh, infantry. And I think the Harvester of Souls and the Soul Siphon. The infantry, I'm think, I I'm think I'm seeing three demonets of Slanesh, one Health Rider of Slanesh, and one Marauders with spears who are moving into objective number one. So let's uh, play the game in the normal speed and see how we're gonna deal with this. First units to be summoned are these Plague Toads uh, because they have anti-infantry and yeah, as soon as I saw these uh, units of demonets i thought to myself oh, we need something to try to deal with them uh, first order we use the uh, stream of corruption he here doing decent amount of damage let's see yeah not bad 200 with one cast and nikari just moves in uh no spells casted yet i use the uh blight swarm but i think yes yeah, soon after my opponent is going to use a uh, wheeling prey and the rest of his stuff so uh the toads already uh, getting into fight with these health riders and demonets demonets i don't think uh, would have been a problem but the uh, health riders are going to be really scary here so the slicing shards is being cast uh, there's no way i can move out of it i realize it's being used but yeah uh, not being able to move and we took a lot of damage there unfortunately but some plague toads are joining in going after the demonets so I think we're gonna win that one, uh, but uh, Nikari and the Exalted Unclean One have been uh, doing their legendary duel here, but uh, the um, Nurgle's Demon is taking a lot of damage, so I have to use a Fleshy Abundance here, get a bit of healing, and uh, so yeah, that's pretty nice. And here, uh, this was a really surprising thing that happened, these Seekers of Slanesh are doing exceptionally well against exhausted plague bears which was a uh, surprise for me here but we get back to them real soon uh, so the two beasts of nurgle are helping the exalted greater unclean one uh, hitting the poor nakari and stopping her uh, stopping him from uh, moving away but uh, some health riders are here to the rescue and yeah that's uh, spelled it decent uh, not the best but not bad either so we got rid of the demonets here the exalted plague bearers have joined the middle we're capturing this point the other one uh, we're capping it pretty uh wait what's happening here is this a bug i'm sh i'm capping this right i have the only unit but the red bar is going up or the uh seekers were had more weight on the objective uh yeah that's that's weird we'll see in a minute let's see it's going up that's no that's not this is it yeah this one's going up as well what what's happening is this a bug yeah i have to uh get back to that in a minute so uh the uh exalted greater unclean one fighting uh, nikari still 
the beasts are trying to get rid of the slanish. Uh, I don't want them to cause more problem here. I think this is, yeah, my opponent uses acquiescence, but I think uh, Nakari is losing this fight, which is uh, which is something you have to be really careful about. Uh, he should move away for it. And yet, yeah, look at that. Uh, the opponent caught it, I think, was able to capture the point. Uh, never mind, it's not going over to the opponent's favor. That's pretty weird. So, Nakari is still fighting. And I think I used an um, fecundity as well, the army ability, uh, because yeah, these guys got a bit of healing. Let's see uh, the the greater unclean one uh, already getting seven thousand HP back, which is insane. Uh, Cultist of Nergal also joining the fray, using its summon to go after the health riders, holding them in place, holding them in place, while this one are just going to. Uh, wreck these uh, low armored units to shreds and yeah we were able to capture this point and the other one uh, no clue what's happening here but fortunately we were able to capture it and look how much these seekers uh, survive they're fighting with a unit that's uh, more expensive than them by 200 uh, but still uh, they took a lot of damage as well they have chaos fury summon but yeah uh, this is really scary. So Nakari joins in, but Nakari is uh, a curious one. She is really powerful, but uh, even Chaos Furies can do a lot of damage to her, especially with these Exalted Plague Bears. Uh, we are doing decent amount of damage. A Slicing Shard going down, but uh, these Plague Bears are summoned, and the spawn I don't think are going to be in much of a trouble uh, with the Slicing Shard spell. And look at this, Nakari is losing heavily to the Furies and the Plague Bearers, which is, which is a pretty nice situation for me. The Exalted Plague, uh, Great Unclean One, going for the Marauders here. And I don't think they're going to be able to survive for long. Yeah, they get separated and uh, with the Stream of Corruption going down, doing a lot of damage here. Also, Nakari uh, can't beat uh, these low-level demons by himself and just like that my opponent decides to give up i mean um there were no way uh my opponent could have held the objectives or captured one of the other objectives uh he, my opponent had a decent grasp on this one but uh look at this one i had a lot of units on it and when you have your really expensive demon lord on the field and your opponent doesn't yes yeah, it's, it's not gonna look too good and uh, another cultist uh, joined the fight as well. So let's see how our units did. Greater Unclean One doing a lot of damage probably. Yeah, uh, three, uh, uh, 37, uh, nearly 37, uh, 100 damage value, which is pretty nice. 1800 damage dealt, a lot of healing. So happy about that. The uh, Exalted Plague Bears, uh, I don't know, they didn't do too good but their HP is so high that I was able to get um, both objectives without much of a problem and the beast one of them paying for the for, for itself the other one was pretty close a lot of HP region so great uh, cultists of Nurgle and uh, not that good in this matchup uh, besides their summon the furies did okay as well the toads uh, not too happy about their performance but Nekari Nearly 2k damage value, but uh, not even close to paying for itself. Really expensive. The Demonets, uh, one of them did good. Uh, this one did okay. Let's see how the uh, Seekers did. Yeah, 1000 damage dealt. They pay for themselves and they're, they charge head first into the Exalted Plague Bearers, which is pretty surprising for me. But yeah, overall, really nice battle. GG to my opponent. Uh, it was a short one, but yeah, pretty fun. I have, uh, I don't really have a hard time playing against Nurgle as Slanish, but uh, yeah, I wanted to try it out in uh, in reverse. And I think, uh, yeah, Nurgle can't fight decent if your opponent just go for a fight, goes for a fight, and does not go for objective capping. So, guess that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, there's a Discord uh, link. And I mean, there's a link into my Discord server. You guys can find it in the description of the video. And that's it. Catch you all later. Bye.